let's see how to add jigsaw structures to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves in Minecraft again, once more for the jigsaw structures in this case. And as you can see, I've already prepared a, well, I mean, kind of a cool idea here. It's gonna be a storage platform. And one side of it, right, including the arch, basically the ore side here with the iron ore is going to be the main platform. And then for the left side here, we're gonna have different variants. So in this case, it's gonna be emerald. And then we're gonna replace it with, uh, you know, diamond as well as, let's say, for example, some mithril ore. And those are going to be our three, you know, variant sides. And then we have one main side that's always going to be, well, basically spawn. So for this, once again, we need a structure block. So we're just going to give it to us. So give us the structure block right here. And then we can also already give ourselves the actual jigsaw block, this one right here. You can see, but we're not going to use that in right now at the moment. We're first of all going to define the structure boundaries. So once again, of course, uh, we actually want the, you know, pillar and the arch inside of this. So we're going to place this right here and then at the top of the arch. So let's just go to roundabout here. That should be fine. And then we want it right there. Actually, there you go. And then we want this one, right? Ex exactly. So we want to put the other one down here. Go. And then last but not least, let's see if I can get the height right. Should be, I will leave this one right here. This should be fine. If not, then we'll find it in just a moment. So we're going to say tutorial mod colon. This is going to be the storage underscore platform. So let's select it with control A, control C to copy and change to corner mode. And let's go here, paste it in, change to corner mode. Same thing here. That is definitely one not high enough. So let's do this one right there. There you go. And then Paste it in corner mode and then this one once again go to safe mode and then press detect and there we have it the structure has been successfully detected there you go and that is going to be fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually detect the other you know structure as well so we can just set it down you know next to it this would be right here and then right here make sure that the leaves are gone because they you know they would definitely not work uh, that's of course not quite right actually we want to go right uh, here Yes, and then we want to go to this corner, obviously. But well, the leaves, you know, still would have been kind of annoying. So uh, there you go. And then the last one goes three up. So it would be right here, actually. There you go. That should be fine. And then this one, we're going to call the emerald underscore storage platform. Once again, control A and then control C to copy it. And then switch to the corner modes for all of them, except for the last one. This one right here this is going to be in save mode, also with the same name, and then detect. And there we go, have it. We have our both both of our structures basically well detected. And also what's really cool is that they are, you know, they're completely independent. They don't like overlap at all. And well, we can just save them. But before we save them, we want to set down the jigsaw block. So we set one down and then let's set the other one down as well. Right like this. See, the arrows should point to each other and this, you know, line should basically, well, you know, fit together. Now, this is not actually quite right. Sorry, we actually want it like this. This would have been a fatal mistake, but luckily I caught it before and there we go. So, of course, one of them should be in this structure and the other one in the other structure. But if both of them are in the same structure, then that's not going to work. As you can see, the, you know, the line should connect and the arrows should face, face each other. Now, the secondary jigsaw block, this one right here, right, with the different variants, is actually the easy one. This is just where we want to change the name to tutorial mod colon and then you know we could you know basically call it whatever we would like you know there's plenty of you know ideas that you can do let's just call this one just the side underscore storage right for the sake of argument and then we're going to say done now this name right here has to be right here in the target name so those have to match the secondary one right the name has to match with the target name of the primary one now, the name of the target pool right here, obviously, is going to be, first of all, tutorial mod, and then it's going to be storage underscore platform slash side underscore pool, and there you go. So this, once again, points to the side pool JSON file inside of our template pool folder inside of the storage platform folder. That is the general idea, and I've accidentally pressed escape, and then it, it basically doesn't save it. So this is going to be storage under platform slash site underscore pool. And then let's hit done. There you go. And that is then done. And that is fine. That is all that we need to do for the 
what jigsaw blocks we can then save this uh, also i've and I also mentioned turns into should be fairly self-explanatory just is the basically the actual block that it turns into so you can also specify this right in this case you know it just turns into air which is going to be fine let's save the main platform first right just go to save and save storage platform save and then the emerald storage save that as well and that is saved now what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch this out for, for a diamond basically so i'm going to set down diamond save another platform switch it out for mithril save that platform as well so yeah let's just switch it out for diamond all right so there you go everything replaced with a diamond and now we just need to change the name right here so instead of emerald storage platform this is going to be the diamond storage platform so make sure that we select this as well and change it in all of those files here or in all of those structure blocks rather and then we can save this as well so you can see no need to you know rebuild everything oh there you go we can save this and then save it and then let's change this to mithril as well all right, there you go. So change to mithril. And I also threw in some raw mithril blocks as well as some netherrack just to make it a little bit, you know, more varied just so that it looks a little bit nicer. And this is, of course, going to be the mithril platform. There you go. So let's just change the name once again in all of these structure blocks. And then we're going to be fine. So then we can go back right here. And now we can save this. And now we have our three variants right here, as well as our main platform. So let's switch to, well, the JSON files and IntelliJ to see what we can do with this. As always, the NBT files are in your run folder in the saves. In this case, uh, I have it in the structure tutorial pog. So this is just the actual save file that it's in. And then you're going to go for different NBT files. You can actually select multiple ones if you select one and then hold control. And then you can just select multiple ones. So let's just get them over here the structures folder and there you go now how do we add these you know structures well it's fairly straightforward we're going to once again take the count mouse json file here and we're just going to copy it so this is going to be the storage underscore platform there you go and let's actually copy the name here so that i have it the biomes once again we're just going to keep them like they are like they are because you know fair enough and then the storage platform right here. Once again, you can drag it into the same folder while holding control, and then it's going to duplicate the file. Here, we wanted to change the camp house to, well, storage platform. So let's just replace it. This one right here, once again, of course, refers to the world gen tag right here. And this one refers to the, well, start pool, which we're going to make in just a moment. The structure set, once again, let's copy this one over as well. Make sure that it's in the right folder. There you go, structure set, storage platform. Now this one, once again, refers to the storage platform JSON file configured structure feature right here and make sure to, well, make the salt here, well, unique. Let's see, this is 900 million. Yes, 900 million should be fine. And then the spacing, let's make it a little bit more and maybe the separation here, uh, make it maybe in nine. That's going to be okay. Storage platform name is also changed. And then what we can do is we can copy the rundown house here, change it to storage platform. Uh, let's close all of this and make sure that we are in the right folder. So science pool and start pool. Let's start with the start pool. Once again, the name here, this just refers to the name of the actual file in this case. And then this refers to the well, location of the NBT file. So this specific NBT file is, of course, the storage platform. This is our main platform, so to speak, with the iron on it. And then we now have to do things in the side pool. So the side pool one, this was defined in the jigsaw block. So the first thing we're going to do is actually get rid of all the comments right here and what i will also do is i will get rid of this second element here because what i want to do is this element right here right this is the, not the storage platform but the diamond underscore storage platform is the first one that can spawn and then i can just copy this element you know twice i'm going to say well there's also the emerald storage platform that might spawn right at the look that location and that it could also be the mythful storage platform so those are our three different variants, so to speak, that can spawn at that, you know, exact location with the storage platform. The storage platform is going to spawn and then it's going to say, wait, we have a jigsaw block right here that we could, you know, actually replace with something. And then it's going to say, okay, look at the side pool, Jason. It looks at this JSON file right here. And then it's going to say, okay, pick one of these three elements. Now, all of them have the same weight. So each one of them has about a 33% chance or, you know, a one third chance of getting picked in this case. And that is literally, once again, all that we need to do. You saw, this is literally it. So the setting up and the building of it is actually the thing that takes most of the time, you know, saving it and then properly, you know, making the JSON files. Of course, if you have a really expansive and crazy thing and you have multiple jigsaw blocks, of course, then it might get a little more complicated. But once again, I can just basically tell you, uh, be open to experimentation, try out a bunch of stuff, try and, you know, create crazy structures and just, you know, just let your creativity run wild. And then hopefully you can create the structure of your dream. 
But for the last time, when it comes to structures, let's go into Minecraft, create a new world, and let's see if our custom storage platform spawns. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft once again in a new world. So let's just locate the actual structure. This is the storage platform. And let's see if we can find it. And there we go. A storage platform spawned right here with the diamond in this case. Let's just for the sake of argument actually get me to a far off location. And let's see if I can't find another one. So let's locate another tutorial mod storage platform. And let's see if I can find one with maybe something else then. Well, I mean, oh, there you go. And this one is with Mithril. So that's perfect. I actually literally spawned a year. That is... That is also very rare, but there you go. And yeah, I mean, that is pretty much it. You can see some different variants right here, right? And I mean, it's really awesome. And yeah, that's how easy it can be to, you know, make use of jigsaw blocks, right? And that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Many thanks also to my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. So yeah.